So welcome everybody. So this webinar is about, about our skincare product launch and sun care tips. Of course, since we are during summer, even though summer is ending, but we do want to talk about um, sunscreen and all SPF, everything like that. And of course, our new product line, which I'm very excited about. Also, we are gonna be doing some giveaways. We have five products on the screen. As you can see, we have our lash serum. We have our restorative treatment, which is a really hydrating deep moisturizer. We also have our acne serum and we have our sun protecting powder and our body butter. So it says, listen carefully to everything we are saying because we are gonna be Buzzing you. Okay. So here are some facts with sun care, well, sun damage. So 90% of the signs of premature aging are due to sun exposure. One out of five Americans will develop skin cancer in their lifetime. 58 million Americans are affected by precancer keratosis, 50% lower risk of developing myeloma, 75% increased risk are you, oh, with the use of tanning beds of the age of 30, and $8.1 billion annual for the US cost for treating skin cancer. So you wanna make sure you are protecting your skin. Okay, signs of sun damage, wrinkles, hyperpigmentation, rough, dry skin texture, spider veins, rootiness. So ro rootiness means it's basically rosacea and sagging skin. So adding sunscreen to your daily routine can block UVA promoting graceful aging and UVB, which can keep your skin from burning. So what I like to say is how do you, how do you can tell the difference between the both? So we have UVA, so you could just think of it as aging and UVB as burning. So which none are good. You wanna protect your skin from both rays. So with this new knowledge, you can safely minimize your sun exposure risk and choose the right sunblock to best fit your lifestyle. Okay, signs of sun damage. So rough skin texture. After many years of the UV exposure, you may develop textual changes in your skin. The symptoms include scaly patches, crusty skin that is thicker in density and raised from the surface. So if you ever have like that really thick patch of skin and you're like, oh no, I have dry skin. Actually, it might be just sun damage. If it's really rough to the touch, really thick, could be sun damage. So wrinkles and fine lines, long-term changes in the skin's collagen, which gives the skin its elasticity, can be a symptom of sun damage. These long-term changes can include fine lines, wrinkles, and a thickened skin texture, which we just talked about. So exposure to UV rays prematurely ages your skin and results the loss of collagen. So if you ever see people who tan a lot, they tend to age faster. It's because you're actually burning through your collagen system. So your skin is getting thinner. It's not healthy anymore. It can't hold what it used to hold because of all the collagen loss. So just like get sagging on the skin, just what I spoke about. So elastin and collagen are two proteins in the skin that deteriorate, not only due to natural aging process, but also because of the external factors over time. This breakdown of collagen and elastin production causes loose sagging skin. So also spider veins. So Collagen structure, fragile collagen structure leads to decreased pressure around the blood vessels and reduced elasticity of the skin. This change means spider veins are more likely to appear at the skin surface, a network of red, purple, blue lines. 
reminiscent of spider web. So a lot of people, if you ever see um, spider veins, a lot of people develop them around their nose just because of friction. Sometimes if you blow your nose a lot or whatever, sometimes that can happen. But also if you have spider veins on your cheeks, that also can result to sun damage. So ruddy complexion, that's basically rosacea, what I was talking about earlier. It's possible for a ruddy complexion to be inherited. However, it can also be caused by excessive sun exposure. Ruddy skin is characterized by a reddish appearance and skin that looks uneven, blotchy, and has broken capillaries. Also, sun damage can cause hyperpigmentation. So that's actually really number one on my list. I feel like a lot of people come in and they just have these brown spots and you know they're like oh, my skin's not even it's due to the sun exposure it's due to not wearing your spf every two hours and it's you know sun damage causes hyperpigmentation so it's an uneven skin pigmentation um so dark spots appearing when it comes to uneven skin tone parts of the skin become discolored or darkened caused by either sun damage or genetics Skin pigmentation can be characterized as either a raised a lesion or a flat lesion. So this is pretty cool. This is a UV photograph, photograph <laughs> revealing sun damaged skin. So this is a special camera that a lot of dermatologists have. If you want, you can see all the sun damage your skin actually really is holding with this UV camera. All right, so now we are talking about sunblock versus sunscreen. So a lot of people are like, what are the difference? We're going to break that down for you and you can decide which one you like is best for you. Sunscreen is a chemical defense. Hold on. Sunscreen is a chemical defense penetrating the skin and absorbing the UV rays before they reach and damage the dermal layers. Some sunscreens include aviobenzone, oxybenzone, and paraamino benzoic acid, which are ingredients used to absorb the sun rays. So sunblock is a physical way to defend against UV rays. It sits at the top of the skin and acts as a barrier. Typically sunblock includes zinc oxide, titanium oxide. Sunblock are often noticeable when, oh, it's actually you could tell when it's sunblock, because it just gives you that white kind of creamy look to it. Many brands of sun protection offer a blend of sunscreen and sunblock. So this is a diagram for sunblock versus sunscreen. So sunblock physically, physical sunscreens prevent UV rays from hitting the skin at all. And sunscreen is chemical sunscreens allow UV rays to hit the skin, but transform it into non-damaging wavelengths of light or heat. So just to break it down, sunscreen is basically the chemical version. If you ever have like you know, uh, a sunblock that comes from a can and shares and 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 shoots out that sheer um, protection. That's basically sunscreen. That is what you you what when you spray that on, you literally feel like it's a film protecting your skin. Personally, I love sunblock, but there's everybody could choose whatever they like as long as you're protecting your skin. So, what do SPF numbers mean? So this is. This is really good to go over because a lot of people think that the higher the grade, the more, um, the, the less they can put it on, apply it basically. They feel like, oh no, I'm wearing SPF 100 and I'm good for the rest of the day. Nope, that's wrong. So we're going to break that down. So the SPF number is the level of protection the sunscreen provides against UVB rays. The higher the SPF numbers do mean more protection, but the higher you go, the smaller the difference becomes. SPF 15 sunscreens filter about 93% of UV rays, while SPF 30 sunscreens filter out about 97. So SPF 50 um, sunscreens about 98% and SPF 100 about 99. No sunscreen protects you completely. The FDA requires any sunscreen with SPF below 15 to carry a warning that 
it only protects against sunburn, not skin cancer or skin aging. Make sure your sunscreen has sun protection SPF 30 or higher. So that's a little diagram as well to show you how it hits your skin. So now which one is the best for you? So sun protection is key and both can be beneficial when used correctly, but skin type plays a role in this. So for sensitive, sensitive skin, sunblocks with zinc oxide and titanium dioxide are better tolerated. People with skin conditions such as rosacea, allergy prone skin should avoid products that contain fragrance, of course, preservatives and oxybenzone which often are found in sunscreen. So you really wanna look at your ingredients before picking your sunscreen. So here are some facts. A sunscreen sun protection factor is only fully effective for two hours after you apply it. Doesn't matter how high it is, um, not SPF 30 between SPF six or 50, doesn't mean you could go a couple of hours more they only last two hours. SPF ratings are based upon the protection it gives you against the sun within an hour and 20 minutes. Experts recommend carrying a bottle of SPF 30 around with you even on a cloudy day or rainy summer day so you can throw some on even if the sun comes out. You can still get a tan with sunscreen on while because while SPF blocks damaging UVB rays, it doesn't prevent deep seeping UVA rays from penetrating your skin and giving it color. No sunscreen is waterproof or sweatproof. Manufacturers can no longer advertise sunscreens as waterproof or sweatproof. Instead, products are now labeled water resistant, very water resistant, depending on the time. It, it, so water resistance up to 40 minutes, very water resistance up to 80. Okay. Okay, so now we're going into wrinkles, sunspots, and the big C. So most skin cancers are caused by too much exposure to UVB light. Hold on one second. Sorry, so most skin cancers are caused by too much exposure to UV light. UV rays are an invisible kind of radiation that comes from the sun, tanning beds, and sun lamps. UV rays can damage skin cells. Prevention from UV rays is important all year round, not just during the summer. You want to make sure you're wearing your SPF all year long. Um, even if people say there's no sun out, those UV rays are there, trust me. All right, so now we are going into our new skincare products. So this is very exciting. I can't wait till you guys try these. These are so good. So we have our line for age exchange line. So these are for our premature or um, mature skin. Premature aging, sorry. So this is our cleanser, APS peptide cleanser. So the benefits with this cleanser right here, it contains 11 botanical essential oils and extracts, including clary sage, galanja, and aloe. So cleanses dirt, impurities without irritation, cleanses conditions, and helps with sensitive skin, leaving it soft, smooth, visible looking, and younger looking. It also hydrates it because it also does carry hyaluronic acid, so which is really good. Okay, so next up is our APS High Potency Serum. So basically this is our vitamin C serum. This is how it comes packaged. It's so cute, I love this. This is my favorite. So the benefits with our high potency serum is visible, visibly improve fine lines, wrinkles, loss of volume, brighten the skin's complexion, overall radiance, support the skin's microbiome, Contains salicylic acid, glycolic acid, and lactic acid. Delivers a gentle micro peel to exfoliate and correct problematic acne skin or prevent future breakouts. 
Um, it also has alpha and beta hydroxy oxide, um, acid. Um, so it promotes exfoliation of the dead skin cells. So this is actually it's an exfoliator, it's a high it's hydration, it's just the helps build collagen. This is just an amazing serum. It penetrates deep into the pores to regulate sebum production and inhibit acne bacterial growth from within. Next up is our retinol eye cream. So this little bad boy helps increase fitness and elasticity. Elasticity penetrates skin to deeply hydrate and lock in moisture. It also helps the skin appear brighter and more radiant. Also calms and soothes the skin, helps diminish color, um, discolor, um, discoloration, enhances firmness and elasticity, reduces puffiness, and it's great for sensitive skin as well. I know a lot of people are scared of retinol eye cream, but this one's just so it's so soothing. Uh, it's great for sensitive skin as well. And this is a before and after. So as you can see, he has really dark circles. And after three months, how much that's lightened, it's just amazing. And also you can just see from the fine lines that they're not as deep anymore. So next up is our, hyd and our hydrating antioxidant mist. So this is our basically our toner in our line. So the benefits for this product, it provides gentle hydration and skin conditioning, and it leaves off a nice smooth, smooth skin, helps calm the skin, remove excess oil and tighten pores for a smoother appearance, helps brighten and calm the skin, has sea salt in it. So it helps enhance the skin tone and neutralize impurities without drying the skin. And it's soothe and comfort for ir irritated skin and it, help, it gives a healthy skin balance to improve your skin tone. So this is great. You would, you know, I like to put this on a pad and kind of go into deep into the pores and then you could just spray this on to help give it a nice, a nice little mist of hydration. Next up is our APS restorative treatment. So this one, we actually recommend to use this at night but um, you can use it twice a day if you like. So it helps prevent water loss to the skin. So if you have really dry skin um, and, oh, okay. So if you have dry skin, this is actually really great. It provides antioxidant benefits while calming the skin, promotes skin firmness and elasticity, complements retinoid therapy and post-treatment. So these, um, this is also good. So if you are new to retinol or using a str really strong retinol, this is a really nice moisturizer to put topically after. So next up is our APS hydrating serum. So this is our hyaluronic acid serum. So the benefits with this, it's a powerful hydrator naturally found in skin and holds a thousand times its weight in water. It helps improve elasticity and firmness resulting in more collagen rich appearance, moisturize and condition the skin to reduce excess oil, compatible with any skincare regimen, and it's suitable for all skin types. This is really good. And we're gonna get into the benefits of hyaluronic acid as well. So what is the difference between fraction, um, low and high molecule weighted hyaluronic acid. So the high molecule weight, it protects and locks in the moisture on the skin surface and the low one penetrates and draw moisture in from the upper layers of the skin. So when you are using hyaluronic acid, I usually like to recommend for uh, my client's skin to be damped a little bit before they, so they can lock in that moisture with the hyaluronic acid serum. So just in six weeks, you can see the difference between this patient's. So as you can see, like her, her redness calmed down, definitely her fine lines don't look that deep anymore. Um, she's just more even pigmentation, glowy. And also like you could just tell from her smile lines, they're just not so deep and her jaws aren't that droopy anymore because it does help produce collagen. So 70% an improvement in visible and 
tactile firmness on their face, 80% an improvement in both wrinkles and fine lines under the eyes, 90% an improvement in tactile smoothness on their face as well. All right, so now we are jumping into our APS Youth Serum times 10. So this is our retinol serum. So basically, and this is the part of the age exchange, we are still under a age exchange line. So the benefits for this serum, it diminishes the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It assists in achievement of smoother, firmer, and more evenly toned skin. It activates a heightened level to the skin without irritation. So act, active botanical protects the skin from irritation environmental stressors and helps to minimize the lack of discoloration and age spots. So this is great as well. So this you would use at night. So all our retinol lovers love that. All right, and this is a before and after. So this is after 12 weeks. So you can see that this patient here had a lot of sun damage, a lot of discoloration, redness on the cheeks. You would, you know, Probably, possibly a ruddy complexion as well. Maybe a little bit of rosacea, you could tell from the cheeks. But you could just see how what a difference it did. It not only brightened her skin tone, it just helped tighten, firm, lift all those fine lines and wrinkles. Just took off. In 12 weeks, took off like about four years. Okay, so now we are jumping into our signature series. So right here, we are going to talk about our APS enlightening and brightening pads. So this assists in achievement of smoother, and firmer, and more even skin tone. Um, our pads have um, hydroquinone and also it has renal in it as well. So it's fast, penetrating, aggressive delivery system. It rapidly boosts ret the retinol levels deposited into the skin to help unclog pores and promote skin cell turnover. And it's convenient pad application, so it's easy to use. So basically with this, this retinol pad it has 7.5. So this is a little bit lower than the serum, but it's actually really great. Um, it's one of my favorites personally. I love to use this as just, you know, little pad, you swipe it on and then you put on your moisturizer and you're done. I love it. It helps with hyperpigmentation, helps with fine lines and wrinkles, helps promote collagen, just great all around. And then we have our body, our better body line. So our body butter benefits tightens. So the benefits for the body butter, it tightens the appearance of sagging skin it also improves skin elasticity, texture, tone, smooths visible cellulite, crepey skin, and stretch marks. It deeply hydrates and locks in moisture on the skin surface. So our body butter is actually really good. Let's see if I have that here. So this is our body butter. Um, you can use this daily if you like. I, what I like about this is that, like it, like it said, it, it helps tighten the skin. It helps build um, that collagen. So this is all trans retinol as well. So that's why it, it exfoliates the skin as well. So next up is our APS of body polishing treatment. So the benefits with this treatment is gently exfoliates dead and dull skin cells resulting in smoother texture and evenly toned brighter skin it's enhanced with some stable liposome, encapsulated vitamins, A, C, and E, green tea extract. It nourishes the skin while providing an antioxidant protection from free radicals. Um, yeah, so this is a great scrub to use. Um, this also helps, it's like for a great combination. I love to use both, this, both the products. So now we are jumping into our Protect series line. So this is our sun protecting powder, SPF 50. So the benefits with this, um, it's a broad spectrum mineral protection against UVA, UVB rays, and that cause, that cause skin photo damage. 
So it delivers the antioxidant benefits, we're helping to reduce the potential for irritation. So this is great for sensitive skin as well, helps minimize the visible signs of aging because like I said, it is SPF, so it, that's why it helps. Um, so it's it's doesn't clog the pores. This is really light. This is really great. Um, I love this stuff because, you know, you can, this is the packaging right here. So you can put on your SPF in the morning and then throughout the day, let's say if you're a female who wears makeup and you can't put on SPF right after that because you feel like you don't want to mess up your makeup. This is a great setting. So think of it as like a setting powder. So it has like a little brush. You just brush it right on and your skin is protected from all the um, UVA and B rays. So this is our ingredients. Zinc oxide, 24%, which is amazing. Tantanium dioxide, 22.5%. has green tea in it. has caffeine. Um, yeah, so this is really great. So it's an all-in-one performance. It sets your makeup, reduces the shine, blur imperfections while protecting the skin against the harmful UV rays. So it's portable, it's easy to use. I like have one in my bag. I take it everywhere with me and you can reapply it as much as you need it, which is every two hours. All right, so now we are jumping into our tinted moisturizer with SPF 46. So the benefits with this one is it's an antioxidant rich, fast absorbing SPF featuring a high level of niacinamide and hyaluronic acid. The universal tint matching most skin types to provide a flawless complexion. So I know tinted moisturizers are the wave and that's why we wanted to get on it and bring this product into our line, which is, it's so good. I love this. You really don't even need foundation. Um, provides UVA and UVB protection, and it's lightweight and oil-free. So it doesn't clog your pores, doesn't do anything like that. It's, it's actually really great. I love it. Next up is our ultra hydrating. Oh, we got to. <laughs> So next up is our ultra hydrating cream, SPF 40. So the benefits for this one is our sun, it's sunscreen, sunscreen and anti-aging moisturizer combination contains antioxidants and hyaluronic acid. It also boosts the skin moisture content, um, content provides, prevents fine lines and wrinkles, provides UVA and UVB protection, of course, because it's formulated as a gentle, <laughs> gentle product, ideal for post-procedure and sensitive skin. So this is really good. I love that one. And this is our um, control freak line. So this is our for our magnetic skin. So here we have our Bacne wash and Bacne spray. And this is how it comes packaged. And it comes with a little, I wanna say like a loofah towel. So you exfoliate your skin with that little towel for your back knee. So anybody who really suffers from acne tends to develop back knee. I know it sucks all around. So the benefits for the back knee wash. So it's benzoyl peroxide. So it's a, it provides antibacterial activity against, um, you know, the growing bacteria from the acne. And it's an excellent solution for children, uh, teens, and adults. So this is great for morning use and um, night as well. And then the spray you would use right after the bacne wash, as soon as you pat your skin dry, you spray this on. So what it does, it helps accelerate the removal of dead skin cells and it, that can interfere with the proper oil drainage of the skin, promotes exfoliation and smoother looking skin. It removes surface oils, unclogs pores, and opens up plugged follicles, which is basically number one irritation, and the number one cause for the irritation on the back, for the back knee. Um, skin conditioners and natural botanicals hydrate irritated skin. It has witch hazel in it, so it helps smooth and tone the skin as well. So next up is our APS Acne Serum. So the benefits with this product here, it helps fight 
acne causing bacteria on the spot and prevents future breakouts. It's cl clinically proven to decrease sebum production for up to 70%. So this is great for our very oily um, skin types. They, they, they love this, using this serum. It helps control their oil production. Exfoliates gently to increase cellular turnover and leaving skin refined. And it's a great spot treatment as well. So if you are, you know, have occasional breakouts and you, you know, you need uh, a nice serum, this is actually great as well. Next up is our APS Acne Medicated Pads. So this contains 2% salicylic acid, 2% glycolic, and 5% lactic acid. So it delivers a micro peel to exfoliate and correct acnetic skin and helps prevent future breakouts as well. It promotes exfoliation of the dead skin cells and, and helps enhance cellular uh, renewal. Penetrates deep into the pores and regulates sebum production as well and inhibit acne bacterial growth from within. So this is great as well. Um, I find that a lot of people like like using this because it's just a pad and you just wipe it on and then continue on to your next product in your skincare routine. All right, so next up is our sensitive line. So for our sensitive line, what we have is called the disappearing act. So this has vitamin K and the benefits with this, it calms through this red irritation skin. This is actually really great as well for rosacea or spider veins. I usually recommend this for um, all my clients who, can, who have those issues. It helps fade bruising as well, spider veins and broken capillaries. So it contains vitamin K up to 5%, sunflower oil, sweet almond oil, and helps fade and clear bruising, improves the appearance of discolored skin that you know, it's caused by the spider veins. So basically rosacea. Helps reduce under eye dark circles as well and puffiness. So this is really good. Soothes, hydrates, and retains skin's natural moisture. And it helps reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Um, helps with redness, irritation. Uh, soothes, relieves dry, itchy skin. And it, com it combats symptoms with aging with antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties. Formulated as a treatment regimen to address fragile skin before and after in an in office or surgical procedures. So next up is our Va Va Boom line. So this is for going into oh, wrong product is our Va Va Boom Extreme Lash. So the benefits with this, this is basically our uh, lash serum. So it coats and conditions lashes, it strengthens fragile lashes, helps lashes appear longer, fuller, stronger, and it helps promote regrowth for the um, weak lash follicles. And it aids and repairs of damaged hairs while soothing the sensitive skin. So this is actually really good. You can apply the, a thin layer. Um, you can apply it twice a day, morning and night. Usually I tell clients just to use it at night. A thin layer, one to two times, that's it. You're all done and you'll see great results. Okay, so as early as four weeks, um, this is the percentage amount patients agree. So 70% have agreed that their lashes are longer. 73% in four weeks, um, their lashes are thicker. 80% say in four weeks, their lashes are more nourished. So, and this is a 12 week photo side by side. It looks like she's wearing um, extensions. So next up is our Va Va Voom shampoo and conditioner. There we go. So these are the two products right here. So this is great for if you're experiencing hair loss. So this promotes hair volume, fullness, and natural body. It protects and nourishes the healthy hair growth and cleanses and it cleanses the scalp really well, supports um optimal environment for healthy follicle growth. 
okay you don't really need a lot a lot one pump goes a long way with these treatments that you know they're just so nice okay so now we are getting into our giveaway so we're going to ask five questions the first one to submit the right answer gets the prize okay so this is our giveaway for our Vava Boom Extreme Lash. Question, so how many product lines do we have now? We just went over it a little bit, the different lines. And I'm now opening the chat to see. So you just message it in. Okay. All right, so Amanda, you are the winner. So there is five lines in six. our. Wait, she said six. Oh, six. Sorry, six. <laughs> sorry. Oh no, because all right, Amanda Picone. So yes, you won it. Yay! So you won our lash serum. Oh my god, I can't wait. Make sure you take befores and afters. Can you please submit your mailing address? So we yes. can send this product to you. Yeah, so submit your, um, your mailing address so we can send it. Okay, congrats. Okay, so the next giveaway is for our restorative treatment. So right here, this was the moisturizer that I was telling you guys about earlier. It's really good. So the question is, what are the two types of hyaluronic acid molecules? And I am looking in the chat to see what are the two types of hyaluronic molecules? Do I need to refresh it? No? Um, do you remember what we spoke? It was like a little diagram. It said something about, oh, she um, messaged it. Something about the penetration, how hyaluronic acid penetrates the skin. Does anybody remember? So yes, there's two types, but do we remember what type they were? All right, um, Andrea, so it was the one that does on top, it goes on top. And there is another one that comes from below. So there's the high and the low. So we are going to give Andrea R our restorative treatment. So Andrea is the winner. Just send email, um, email us or in the chat, send us your privately your address. She said I needed this. Yay, congrats. So uh, next giveaway is our acne serum. So here is the question. How is APS acne line called? So, so what is the acne line called? It was a cute little name for our acnetic line. Does anybody remember? You know, does anybody remember our APS acne line? What is the name of it? No, it's not vanished. It's something that you would call somebody who like is, I don't know, something I call my mother. 
<laughs> so we are going to skip it. Unfortunately, nobody's going to win this. It was called Control Freak. Okay. Okay. Next is our APS sun protecting powder. Oh my God. You win this. Lucky you. This is my favorite. And the question is going to be, what is the minimal SPF number that everyone should be using? 30. Yay. Giannina A won it. Yay. So minimal we recommend for everybody to use is our SPF 30. 30 and up. Congrats. So, Janina, just send us your address privately. And then we're going into our last one. This is our APS body butter. So, what is the minimal SPF number that everyone should be using? No, we already did that. This is an error. No, don't, don't answer that. All right, so body butter, okay. Um, let me think of a question. <laughs> so this was, um, okay, sorry about that. Let me think. Hmm. What question should we say? Um, okay, so our body butter comes from what skin line? What skin, what was the skincare line? I know it's APS, but um, what was the name of our line for our body products? Anybody remember? What was the name of the line for our body products? It's purple. Has the word body in it. Should I give them another one? Louisa, do you want to ask? No, it's not body control. Um, Louisa, do you want to ask a question to see if anybody would answer? Are you able to? Hi, everybody. Sorry, I'm homesick. Hi, Louisa. Sorry. Do you have <laughs> a question for the giveaway? Yes. Uh, let's see. Um, does anybody know what, um, which of the items will help lighten the skin and exfoliate at the same time that you use at nighttime? Mm -hmm. That's a great one. Yeah. Retinol. So are we asking for the ingredient or the actual product? The, um, which of the products, if you can remember. You remember? Some Somebody did say retinol and they're yeah. on the right track. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you are on the right track. We did talk about two different retinol products. Yeah. Yes. Serum. Um, yes. Yay. <laughs> the youth serum, which is one of my favorite products. Yes, that's what leaves us face. So. That is the youth serum here that we have. We are gonna be giving you, not the serum though. <laughs> We're giving you the body butter. <laughs> okay. So thank you all for joining. Um, Louise is homesick, but she will be better. She's gonna take the weekend to recover. Um, too much AC, I guess. And we will see her soon. And thank you guys for joining me on the webinar. If you have any questions, please, this is your chance to um, put them in the chat. Thank you, Giovanna. You did a great job. Thank you. Miss you. Wish you were here. Thank you. <laughs> have a good weekend, everybody. Yes, good weekend. Have a good weekend. So, all right. I think we are all done.
Thank you everybody for joining.